I want to continue with these atelier diaries that I'm doing, um, kind of giving updates what I'm learning at the Ravenswood Atelier. Um, and I think what I'm going to do now is kind of give an update, uh, give an update for each week that I'm there. Um, I've been before I was doing it giving an update at the end of each project but some projects take five weeks some take ten weeks so i think every week will be um, a little bit better so we just started the winter trimester and i've already done a week of it so um, i'm going to start off with the first part of the day which is three hours in front of the model um, we start a new pose each pose is five weeks long um, the pose that we're doing now is the model's name is dan and he is kneeling and kind of crouching down. So that one's a little bit more challenging than um, just a standing pose. Probably just more challenging just because um, I'm more used to doing standing poses. So it's just something different. So that's a lot of fun. I really like this pose a lot. So I'm really glad that um, I get to do this one. But so we start off by everyone's doing little pencil drawings. I like these. <laughs> um, always at the beginning, of a, tri a trimester, um, we spend a few days doing pencil drawings like these because it's kind of just to like brush off the rust from the break and you kind of just are getting used to the pose and figuring out how the pose works and also um, you're watching the model and how the model shifts and moves um, because that's going to be different for each pose too. This is a challenging pose for the model being kneeling down. So he was kind of adjusting if he was crouched over more or holding himself up more to see what was more comfortable for him to be able to hold this pose for three hours. So this is the drawing that I ended up with and I'm pretty happy with how I blocked it in to understand the pose. Um, Matt told me to really focus on his standing foot right here and in relation to his shoulders and his head. He's going to be um, shifting a lot with pulling himself up and kind of um, collapsing more down on himself. So as long as I pay attention to how his foot lines up with the shoulders, that's pretty good. Um, Magda also told me to look at the shapes like right here to kind of see the triangle that the leg makes and then comparing that with the shape of his upper body and um, what else? Oh, also really paying attention to the negative shape between his arm and the side of his body there. So that's what I've been really focusing on and that's been helping a lot to really um, understand the pose. Okay, so once I got, felt like I understood the pose enough with these pencil drawings, um, I started my transfer drawing. So I am going to be painting this pose, but we always start off, um, if you're painting, you start off doing a transfer drawing. So here's the first day of the pose. This paper is like 19 and a half inches by 25 and a half inches, and it's Canson paper. Um, and then I'm using Eachum charcoal. I'm standing really far back from the model as well to try and get the, um, we work by side size. So I'm standing as far back as I can so the model is as big on the sheet of paper as possible. And since Dan is crouched down a lot in this pose, um, the good thing about that is you can get the model bigger on the paper to fit in, um, which I'm excited about that because um, I've been really focusing on portraits lately because I want to get better at doing that and it's kind of hard to paint a portrait when the, the head is so small. So the head should be um, a pretty good size to work from on this so I'm excited to um, play around with the portrait when it comes to that but okay and then the second day that I worked on this Thursday this is what I got so you can see that the lines here are they're a lot stronger and they make more sense in relation to all the other lines now I have a tendency to feel comfortable with the pose and then I start putting in um, or complicating the drawing a lot by adding in a lot of detail, probably too soon before I really have the pose and the gesture as solid and as possible as I can make it. So I'm really pushing myself to um, stay with these simple few lines as long as possible until there's like no um, discrepancies between the really simplified drawing and the model dance. So it should look like Dan with just these simple 
lines like this. And then Dan, unfortunately, getting up, he, um, I think his foot fell asleep or something and he fell off the model stand and he hurt his foot so he wasn't able to come in on Friday. So I don't have another update on how the drawing developed Friday because he wasn't able to come in. And he's had the whole weekend to um, rest off of his foot. So I hope he's, I'm hope he's doing better. But Dan's one of those great guys that he never ever complains about anything. Um, and he's a really good model. So I hope he's doing better. Okay, so then in the afternoon after our lunch break, we have individual project. I am working on cast paintings in Grisaille and I'm continuing the foot cast painting that I was working on at the end of the last trimester. So here's an image of the painting that um, the progress that I made on it last trimester. And um, I don't know how well you can see on the image, but um, the paint on it is pretty thin. You can kind of see like on the top of the foot a lot of the canvas showing through. Um, the first day that I was working on it, I really focused on correcting the shapes. What's really great about having, um, I think our winter break was maybe six, six weeks long. So um, six weeks I haven't seen this painting and so you have a super fresh eye when you come back um, for this new trimester. So all of the shapes that I thought were correct, um, it's really clear how to fix them. So that's really awesome. So the next day, um, I was more still correcting the shapes and kind of repainting everything, but I was also paying attention to temperature shifts as well. So you can kind of see where the shadow is meeting, meeting the lighter part. It's got more blue to it, um, and then it goes to the very light, warm color of the top of the foot. And then the next day, still correcting shapes. You're always correcting shapes, probably going to be correcting shapes until I finish the painting just to make it as accurate as possible. The last day that I was working on it this week, I was more still working with um, temperature as well, but really focused on transitions and trying to get the transitions between temperatures and values um, to make more sense to how they actually look. Yeah, I think that's, um, that's pretty much all that happened that first week. I'm really excited for this upcoming week, um, especially with the figure session, because hopefully I'll be done with the transfer drawing and then I can start the painting of that. Oh, and if anyone has any questions on my atelier or how the program works or anything like that, um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and answer your question in the next update.